Hello and welcome to this introduction to the new Geronimo E6B ProPad. Here it is. It's a new kind of E6B, a combination of course plotter and classic E6B. I quickly show you how it works. So up here is a conversion banner. So uh, it's very simple to convert values. Just enter one of those. Let's say you want to change five nautical miles and it will calculate it into statue miles, kilometers, meters and so forth. You have a bunch of numbers that you can calculate inclu including jet fuel and air gas and time and all that. So this is always available and quickly uh, accessible. So now you have of course all the functions that are uh, necessary in an E6B and the uh, um, new thing here is uh, those functions are based on uh, windows. So um, all your calculations are separated in windows and you can arrange them as you like them. So let's say you need these three calculations. Uh, you can also save this setup by clicking here on compare scenarios. Now you can save this. If you change the scenario, let's say um, you even rearrange the windows or you enter new values. Uh, now you can save this as scenario number two and now you can compare those two scenarios and uh, set up your own screen and calculations with this. So if you're in flight school or a flight instructor you can set up different scenarios in, uh, really quick. Okay now close all these and um, I want to show you a classic E6B. This is a built-in so you can use this pencil here by double click you can set a, uh, a dot, a wind dot. Now you can rotate and do things that you usually would do with an E6B. So this is, um, for my knowledge, this is the first uh, real E6B in an iPad app. You can also switch it and flip it to the other side. So now you have the calculation side of a regular E6B. So if you don't trust all these computations, you can do them manually. If you have forgotten how to use this good old E6B, no problem. Uh, you can go down here to uh, the E6B training, open the window, let's say find heading. And now let's close this here for, uh, for the purpose of this demonstration. And now you have a demo button here. So the demo works with uh, any configuration. So let's say you want to set your wind direction to 300 and all the other values. Um, now click demo and here is the automatic um, E6B function. So now you can sit back and watch how the E6B uh, solves the computation. I really like this because um, I really forgot, forgot how to use the E6B over time. So whenever I don't use this for a couple of months, I really forgot how to use it. So now you can remember and just by watching it. And down here you will have a short um, description of the functions. So this again works with any uh, setup and uh, all those values here can be changed and you can watch the E6B is fully animated and automatic. So let's close this and the same thing uh, works for time, speed and distance on the other side. Um, because we don't have that much time I would like to go uh, to my favorite feature, that the course plotter. This is this one. Um, it f uh, contains a world map and um, now basically you can do your um, flight planning um, just using a normal uh, map. You don't need aviation maps. Um, you can use this one, so no subscription and uh, no outdated maps. Uh, so let's say you want to um, get or uh, uh, plot a course from San Francisco to LA. Uh, we've, uh, there's a button here, set track, click on it. And um, now you can scroll through the window, so click on San Francisco and the other button or destination we set to Los Angeles. And there is now your course plotted. It's very slow here in this demo on the real iPad, it's way faster. Okay, now you click on use track and there we are. So now you can measure the track, um, set the uh, uh, a compass to um, uh, so that it's aligned to the track um, and here you see it's the track is uh, 136 degrees um, and now you can of course set the wind so here you can set the wind direction let's say we have a headwind from the southwest with a wind speed of 20 knots you can set this in this window here just 
tap and drag the numbers. And here on the left side, you can set your true airspeed. Let's say you fly today 125 knots. So now the computer tells you the wind correction angle, true heading, variation, magnetic heading, deviation, and the compass heading. So why is there the variation? Because the iPad, uh, this program has a very sophisticated um, variation computation built in. Um, when you move over the globe, let's zoom a little out, have a look at the mag magnetic pointer here. So as you zoom and as you move over the United States, it updates it continuously, continuously. so um, the magnetic variation is calculated every second. Again, this seems now to be very slow, but if you use an iPad, it's way faster. It's real time, actually. So let's go to South America. Let's see what the magnetic variation is doing there. Oh, yeah, there you go. So it's quite massive here. You have a magnetic variation of 22.4 degrees and so forth. So this is how you can use the course plotter. You can also set your compass deviation and things. And uh, I hope this, uh, you find this kind of handy. So you can change the map types and brightness. So you can set this to black if you like and concentrate on um, the graphics. You can also have different map types. Let's say this, or I think there is another map. Th these maps are uh, provided by Apple or by Google. Uh, if you have uh, iOS 5, it's a Google map. All right, so let's go back to the calculator page. And there's another one I would like to show you. That's a crosswind. So here you can uh, quickly calculate your crosswind components. Just set the wind direction, set the, your runway heading, and your crosswind component will be displayed graphically. If you change the wind, you see what happens to your crosswind component. So it cannot be any faster to calculate this. Set the wind speed, change runway heading, change wind, and there you go, that's it. All right, so again, we have the classic E6B, work with it the, uh, um, uh, to stay current, uh, the course plotter, and uh, the function windows. Um, there are various functions. If you don't, do not find the function that you um, need, just let me know and we can implement it here. So for instance, I just recently put the point of safe return and some fuel calculations. So as you see, it's quite modular and we can rearrange it to any needs. If you're a flight school, you can let me know if you need a special setup. And there's plenty of space here on this canvas. Um, so here you can move it up and down so you can arrange even more uh, windows. Here you have a heading and ground speed window and another one. So it can be quite complex. And if you like this scenario, again, just save it. And now you can compare all three. So this is the one that we, we just saved. And this is the one, the third one that we just created. Yeah. All right. So this is the new E6B. I hope you like it. And I would like to finish this with uh, the view that I like most, my course plotter here. <laughs> Thanks for watching.